Hello, welcome back to my channel. So, I've recently bought, uh, well, I bought this one Miniac, Stuart the, the miniature Miniac um, announced he was making it. So, it's just in, in the, I've just picked it up from the post office, and it's the Vampire Duchess that he made uh, himself. So a quick shout out to Miniac, because he is the very kind uh, creator. And this is a, the sleeve that you get, so a black and white image of the Duchess inside. And he even, tied, even gives credit to everyone who's helped on the project. So you can find out a better ways to paint her, things like that. On his web, on his YouTube channel, I'll link him down below. And if you want to go over and see him, you can do. I won't, I won't stop you. And that, let's see if we can get a bit better. Is how it looks inside. So, sheesh, that's a fair bit of resin. Look at that. Let me put that down. I'm actually liking how he's done it because the body and skirt are in the chest and hips and legs and the skirt she's wearing are all in one part. And it's got some nice, you see there, I could either magnetize if I wanted to find some other arms if I wanted, but I probably just glue this straight up. So yeah, that's a nice little nice deep recess there to fit the uh hand in. Let me take one of Oh wow, they're both on the same So yeah, that's the uh a vapor in one hand and he split the other hand other arm in two. So that actually help with painting because otherwise you get those bits you tend to miss out. And then I like how he's done it with these because if I turn them around that way you can see there you can act if I don't assemble these onto the model straight away you can actually get all those all that clothing painted so I'm not having any of the base colour still showing. Ooh, look at that for a base. Pre detailed even got a logo on the bottom. So yeah, that is a nice looking base. Guess that just that logo means it's the Duchess's base. So he he may I have no idea, but he may actually uh make more models. Aha There's the hand for the second for the other arm. Nice, some little flowing tassels for, I'm guessing, the right hand side. Scott, if I've unboxed it incorrectly, do comment and let me know what you make. Um, and some more here, so plenty of extra details to add if I wanted to and these are all looking excellent there's no, there's no uh, miscasts or anything like that in this model so very well very, very worth it aha looks like I was wrong about what it's for because that is a Duchess's face 
and have a look at that. Feast your eyes on it. It's a nice looking, very detailed face. And then at the back, you see how these have got two separate things there. That's so that you're not having, the, having to try and paint all the hair where it won't go. You can paint that bit and get that detailed properly first and then move on to the back and yeah there's yeah sure there's a lot of flashing and what have you but you know it's it's, it's in the right area it's on the bottom of, of the key so let me see is uh oh he's, he's even left uh, just notice around her waist here there's these recessed holes there there and there so naturally Uh, that one looks like it would fit into there. See, it just adds that extra bit of width. Uh, what shapes? That's a triangular one, so that one would fit on the front, like so. It helps us to add to the movement, and by doing it this way, it's giving me the option if I want to, oh that that holds it, holds it really nicely that one. So yeah, this just adds to the uh, sense of motion that the Duchess has, and he's there's even he's even pre-drilled holes in the feet, so that there's one way for her to stand on her base. And that, once I've cut these bits off the bottom, I'll set, I'll get a, oh, there's, no, I'm, I'm corrected. There's multiple ways to put on the base. Because if you look on the base, you see the those standing up sections there. One, two, three, four, five, six there. Don't think those two are going to do anything. But given... I think you're meant to be right in the middle of the base. So, yeah. This should be an interesting project. I will do more on her. And I will let you know how it goes. I will start her uh, during a week probably. Because that's when I'm off next. There are some mould lines to remove. But again... It's his first ever miniature that he's produced, so it's well worth a look. Go to his channel. I will link it in, a, in, the, in the description. Uh, please give him a sub. He's got airbrushing techniques. He's got all sorts. He's, uh, he is well worth following on YouTube. And he even challenges you to push yourself a little bit further with how you paint things. I mean, I heard about the term zenithal highlighting um, from Scott, as that's one of his preferred techniques of painting his models, is to have, give it a, a zenithal um, base coat, which in uh, a quick summary is simply putting a lighter colour over a darker colour at about either overhead or um, just off from overhead so when you then apply some thin glaze some thin thin layers of glazing to the model you get the colour will then naturally uh, change I say change, it will look lighter naturally without you having to go and mix up any bat any extra batches of paint. So you just thin down your your usual paint to a runnier really consistency, paint it all up. As you put that first few layers of paint, that first layer of paint on, the white or whatever colour on top 
for which is acting like the light source will uh, affect the paint and the, the paint on, to, on on top of it to make it either look lighter or darker depending on how you've highlighted so some people will do it different ways some use airbrushes some use uh, spray cans and it's just getting the model at a slightly off from dead center if you want a challenging light source or what have you yeah, let's say you choose black as your base coat, which is a a good colour. It's quite dark, but it's a, a perfectly fine colour to use. And then if you spray white directly down on top, it shows you where the raised areas are and how the light would affect would fall on those areas from above the model's head. So um, I'll, I'll try it with the Duchess and we'll see how it goes. So thanks you all. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again in the next video and I'll keep you updated with the Raid Master or is it Raid Mistress that I'm painting at the moment with Artel from RTLW. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.